Hello, in this video I'm going to continue my video lecture series on the reduction of carboxylic acid derivatives. And in this video I'm going to look at the reduction of amides and nitriles to amines uh, using lithium aluminum hydride. And this is a common way of synthesizing amines. So let's look at a few examples and then I'm going to give you uh, a mechanism of, of one of mechanism of a reduction of an amide, okay? So we can uh, reduce primary, tertiary, or secondary amides, okay, like this one, uh, to make primary, tertiary, or secondary amines. And the reagents we're going to use, we're going to start with the first step that has lithium aluminum hydride, and then a second step, which is a water workup, so uh, H2O here, all right? And what we're going to do is we're essentially going to lop off that, that oxygen, okay? And then replace it with two hydrogens. And you can see we make a, a tertiary amine here. All right, uh, we could do this with another amine. Uh, so let me give you another example here. Okay, so here I have, I'm sorry, another amide. Here I have a secondary amide. I'm going to use the same conditions, lithium aluminum hydride followed by water, and uh, what we end up making is this secondary amine, okay? Uh, we can also do this with nitriles. Show you an example with a nitrile. I'll use our simplest nitrile here, acetonitrile. And just as a reminder, a nitrile has this uh, functional group that is a carbon triple bonded to a nitrogen. We're going to use the same conditions for this reduction. Our strong reducing agent, lithium aluminum hydride, followed by a water workup. And we're not going to lose any carbons here. We're just doing a functional group interconversion. Okay, and here I'm making a primary amine. Okay, this carbon's bonded to this carbon. This nitrogen's bonded to this carbon. These two hydrogens are bonded to the carbon. I'm, I'm drawing it in, in a little bit of a condensed notation. Uh, this nitrogen is not actually bonded to that hydrogen. One little note about doing this, uh, it's common to see this done with hydrogens attached to carbons. I'd be a little more careful about doing that with an oxygen and a hydrogen and a nitrogen or a, and a hydrogen because then it's a little more confusing as to who's bonded to who. All right. Um, okay, so let's look at a mechanism of this reduction. And I'm going to use primary amide to show the mechanism. It's the simplest primary amide I can find here. Or, well, maybe not the simplest. I guess the simplest would, would have a, a hydrogen there, but it's close. And here's our, our reducing agent. Okay, we have a lithium counter ion. So this is going to be a synthetic equivalent of H minus, and uh, what I'm going to do is we've got this aluminum hydrogen bond here. I'm going to take that pair of electrons in that bond. I'm going to attack the carbonyl carbon. We we call that a nucleophilic addition. Okay and we get a tetrahedral intermediate. Okay, 
and when we draw this oxygen, we're going to draw not only is the hydride attaching, but we're also going to attach the oxygen. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to attach the, the oxygen to this aluminum. We're going to make that oxygen aluminum bond here. Okay. Now you have to be careful at this step. Okay. You're probably pretty used to at this point doing a nucleophile elimination where we would eliminate what was, um, would be at this position, often a chlorine atom or OET or something like that. What's actually going to happen is we're going to eliminate this group because it's a better leaving group it's with that um, aluminum attached to that oxygen. Okay. And if we do that and kind of follow what our arrows are telling us carefully. <laughs> you always get to kind of be careful with what you're doing arrows. We make this imidium ion and our leaving group is this. And um, if it makes you a little uncomfortable seeing two negative charges right next to each other, just know that makes me uncomfortable too. But based on what I've seen in another textbook, uh, that seems to be what's going on. We seem to be leaving, have our leaving group that is this, this species here. Okay. Um, and then what can happen to kind of complete this mechanism, we can have another nucleophile, nucleophilic addition We're going to add a second equivalent of hydride, and that ultimately whoop, leads us to our product, which is a primary amine. Okay. And so, uh, so just in summary here, for our reduction of this primary amide to a primary amine, we did a nucleophilic addition followed by a nucleophile elim elimination where our leaving group is this uh, leaving group that has an oxygen aluminum bond. And then we do a second nucleophilic addition. All right, well, thanks for watching this video and you'll see me in the next lecture. Bye for now.